Good day. In this video, we're going to look at sigma notation. It's part of the grade 12 syllabus, and we're going to try and show you a technique how to work out sums using sigma notation. If you look at the sigma notation sum, you will always find five things there. Firstly, the sigma itself, that's where the name came from, something up there, something down there, a general term there, and, the, and something there. A typical question can look like this. They can give you this. And they can say, calculate the following. That's all they say. First thing we need to know is that sigma means add the terms in this series. We now have to find out how many terms are in the sequence. And we will learn a little rhyme that says, top minus bottom plus 1. So we take that 9 over there, minus the number that you see there, plus 1. So 9 minus 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. There will be 9 terms in this series. The next thing we do, we have to find the terms of the pattern. So what we do, we take that number over there, substitute it in there, work it out, and get an answer. Take the number after that number, which in this case will be 2, substitute it in there, work it out, get the answer. Take the next number after that one, which will be 3, put it in the place of R there, 3, work it out, get the answer, and keep going until you get to the number 9 that you plug in, work it out, and get the answer. This we are usually not going to do. So my term 1 will be 2, my term 2 will be 5, my term 3 will be 8, and so on. You will now see that this is an arithmetic series. With my a, my first term being 2, my difference being 5 minus 2 is 3, is the same as 8 minus 5, which is 3. Because sigma means sum, I'm going to use the sum formula of arithmetic series, and I know that the number of terms is 9 that I worked out right in the beginning. You now work out is 9, the sum of the 9 terms, and substitute everything from here into this formula. Then using your calculator, you'll get the answer. The sum of the 9 terms is 126. So the answer of this sum is 126. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Let us now do three more examples. The question will read, calculate the following. It's all it will say. First, we want to know how many terms are here. So it's top minus bottom plus 1. So that will give me 12 minus 3 plus 1. I wrote it out here for us. That will be 10 terms in this series. Next, we work the terms out and add them together. We take that number, which is 3, substitute it in there, work it out, and get the answer, which is 1. Take the number after that number, which will now be 4, plug it in there, work it out, and get the answer as minus 1. Take the next number, which is 5, plug it in there, work it out, and get the answer, which is minus 3. We go all the way up to 12, plug a 12 in there, get the answer, and work it out, and get that minus 17. We're not going to use this. So my term 1 will be 1, my term 2 will be minus 1, and my term 3 will be minus 3. I can now see that this is an arithmetic series. I will use my arithmetic series sum formula. I know that A is 1, my first term is 1. My constant difference is minus 2, minus 1, minus 1 is going to give minus 2. Minus 3 minus minus 1 is also minus 2. And from the beginning I know I've got 10 terms in this series. So I work out the sum of the 10 terms. Plug all my information from here into the formula. And get the final answer is minus 80. So the sum of these 10 terms is minus 80. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. The next question looks like this. First we work out how many terms, it's top minus bottom plus 1, that is then 8 minus 3 plus 1 will give me 6 terms in this series. Next we work out the terms and we add them. We will never use this long method but we still look at it. We take that 3, plug it in there, work it out, get the answer, take the next number which is 4, substitute it in there, get the answer. Take the next number 5, substitute it in there, get the answer. Do the same with 6 and with 7 and up to that number that we see up there, which is 8. Then we can use a calculator and add up all these terms. And we get the answer. 40,4 recurring. But we won't use that method. We can see that this is a geometric series. We know that A is a ninth. That's my first term. My ratio, constant ratio, is 3. If I take a third divided by a ninth, I'm going to get 3. And 1 divided by a third is also 3. Already worked out that there is 6 terms. So I'll use the geometric series sum formula. 
substitute all my values in, use my calculator and get one of these three answers. Any one of these two will be marked right. So there we will have a total of 40 and 4 ninths or 40,4 recurring will be the sum of these six terms. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Last question will look like this, and it just says calculate the following. First, we ask how many terms, in this case, it'll be infinite because it's written over there. You can still do infinite minus one plus one, will still give you infinite. Next, we work the terms out and add them. We take the one, substitute it in the place of n, use the calculator, work it out, and get 8 over 5. Take the next number, which is 2, plug it in the place of n, use the calculator, work it out, and get the answer 8 out of 25. And then you take the next number, which is 3, plug it in the place of n, work it out with your calculator, and get 8 over 125. My first term will be 8 over 5, my second term 8 over 25, and the next one 8 over 125. And you keep substituting in the next number and the next number to infinity, but that's going to take too long. Now you should know that the sum to infinity means the sum to infinity and it only is used on geometric series but you will see that a is 8 over 5 that's my first term my constant ratio is this divided by that which is 1 over 5 but it's also the same as that divided by that so that my constant ratio is a fifth we know that the number of terms is infinite and then I've got a formula for sum to infinity at the geometric series which is a over 1 minus r provide that r lies between minus 1 and 1. And our r is a fifth, and that is lying between minus 1 and 1. Then you substitute this information into this formula, use your calculator and work it out, and your final answer will be 2. So if you add up all these terms up to infinity, you'll get 2 as a final answer. Please stop your video and try and understand what happens when you work on a sigma notation question. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video. And remember, if you run into a problem that you cannot solve on school mathematics, you can send a clear WhatsApp photo to this number. Then we will try and solve your problem and send back an answer to you as soon as possible for free.